Success of the mRNA vaccines for COVID are giving hope to San Diego scientists working on HIV vaccines. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at the role Scripps research will play in the first ever trial for an mRNA based HIV vaccine. Since 2016, Scripps Research has been working with Moderna to develop an HIV vaccine using mRNA technology. This month, human testing begins on what scientists call the holy grail for HIV research, a vaccine that can prevent the disease. And they have the pandemic to thank. The data from the COVID vaccine showed it was very safe and very immunogenic. So that's basically all you want. As mRNA COVID shots went into arms around the world, Dr. William Schieff with the Scripps Research International AIDS Vaccine Initiative paid close attention. He's been working with mRNA for six years. Seeing how well the technology did for COVID gives him hope it can do the same for HIV. The fact that that COVID vaccine was so immunogenic and so successful at protecting humans uh, made it easier for NIH to say, yes, this is a good idea. Let's go test this for, for, for HIV. Last week, the NIH announced the start of clinical trials for three mRNA HIV vaccines, all using mRNA sequences developed at Scripps Research. Each vaccine delivers the mRNA in a different way. What we're doing in this clinical trial is asking the question, OK, if we're going to deliver HIV spikes by RNA to humans, What's the best way to do it? They'll also look at different dosage amounts and side effects. The National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases will run the trials, enrolling around 100 people around the country. Director Anthony Fauci spent most of his pre-COVID career working on HIV. In an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview, he told me the use of mRNA for COVID sped up the process. Would it be fair to say if not for the pandemic kind of pushing that technology forward, we wouldn't be at this point now with HIV vaccine tests? Oh, there's no doubt about that. And since mRNA is a faster, less expensive way of creating vaccines than the traditional protein-based method, it creates endless possibilities. You never want to get too excited about something until you've proven it works. But at least we know from the experience with COVID that this is a very uh, exciting and potentially important technology. Dr. Sheaf told me these trials are just step one. And because HIV is such a complex virus, one vaccine alone probably will not provide protection. But knowing that mRNA vaccines work brings them closer to a series of shots that can. And Dr. Sheaf thinks they can get that within the next decade. In La Jolla, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. The NIH says the study will run through July of next year. And if you have a story that needs an in-depth look, send us an email to tips at 10news.com.